Hello everybody! I missed turnip time. As if that was a shock that's just been happening lately. Um... Can tell Sour from TX, we know that was just a, a random gift letter. What do we got? Oh right, I can't check what we got because um, I have an inventory of crickets. Okay, so there's a fossil there. <laughs> Hello Tia, how's it going? Hello, S. You seem chipper as always. What can I do for you? Did you lose this? Is this yours? I found it on the beach last night. Is this yours? Oh, so last us, I pretty much gave up on finding it. Thank you for returning it to me. Yay, it was Tia's! We got a manor wall. Neat! It's fine, Tia. I mean, you gave me a heart attack last night, thinking that, you know, whoever lost it was never gonna get it back, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, we got, we got a lot of stuff to do today, even still. Rooney wants an exercise bike. You know, that is kind of his style, so you know what, let's encourage you to get in. You should buy it, my man. It's exercise equipment. He's a boxer. Yeah. Whoops. No, I want to... No, I, I just want to talk to you, Reese. I don't want to list something. I want to I wanna sell some stuff. I mean, technically, that is how you sell stuff, but... I don't think you would like me putting, like, what is this? Nine crickets and a wallpaper on that stand? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So I have not been up along, so. I literally, well, I say that. I've been awake for a little over an hour. Because, um. My, my, my mother had to go out today, so. It's like, ah. Yeah, I should, I should probably get woken up before she leaves so I can watch the dog. I mean, I'm not the only one here that could watch the dog, but I should probably be woken up to watch the dog. And so I, she woke me up before she left, but my brain didn't exactly click the time she told me it was. I thought she said it was 10.30 when she woke me up, and I was like, okay, I can nap a little longer before actually getting up, because I know she doesn't leave until noon. It was 11.30? I don't know why my brain went 10.30, but, you know. Hello, Sky. Hi, Cupcake. I'm glad I ran into you, because I wanted to tell you this in person. It may seem sudden, but I'll be moving away. No, you're not! You are staying here until the end of time, or at least until the end of the series. I do want to spend more time with you and everyone else in town? Maybe it isn't right time for me to move after all. Thanks for me realize that. Like, I feel bad making all of our animals stay, but I feel like the set we- Tia is just ominously standing behind my house. I don't know how I feel about that. She gives me Leo vibes, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I wouldn't want Leo standing ominously behind my house either, so... Hmm. But yeah, like, I feel bad always making them stay when they're like, Man, I really want to go, like, experience the world. It's like, yeah, but there's not many days of this series left, so... Toy no Tia, right? Well, the last time we were talking, our neighbor left something in my house. Could you return it to her? Sure, I'll take care of it. Tia will be happy to get it back. It's probably a shirt. It's not asking a lot, Bella. It's not even really halfway through the day yet, and Tia is right over here somewhere. S somewhere. There she is. Man, girl, you're fast. I have another thing for you. Delivery. Got, got a livery. Here you go. Livery time. I forgot to take this home. 
Oh, my rubber apron. Okay. Um... Not gonna question it. It's a beatnik tank. Man! What is it with the world and doing this? I- I had just recently been back... Yeah, I'll- I'll tell this after talking with Velma. Hello, Wes. Nice day to get a few things done, isn't it? What do you like to talk about? Let's chat. How are you fishing out of the ocean? I'm having the hardest time with it lately. Would you mind catching an ocean fish? Any sort will be fine. Yeah, I can do that. I do this. Yeah, I've been back re-watching some old George Carlin stand-up routines. And in his earlier days, he talks a lot about the Beatniks, which were a group of people. And now suddenly I'm getting a Beatnik shirt in Animal Crossing. The world seems to do that a lot. Expect that delivery to Tia. How'd it go? Here's the story. She gave me a Beatnik. She gave me a Beatnik tea. Because they're able to return to our neighbors. And before that, I was watching um, Jim Cornette who made mention of the beatniks as well. So I don't, I don't want to wake her up, but Fuchsia is being so cute right now. I mean, I really wish she wasn't wearing the custom design shirt, but she's being adorable. Hey. Hey. See, uh... <laughs> Wait, what? I was dreaming? Yeah, I guess you were. You, you were asleep by a stump. Oh no, my inventory's all messed up now, isn't it? Oh no. Um. Um. Eh. <laughs> but yeah, like... I've seen so many references to the Beatniks lately that it's like, okay. I don't even fully remember what the Beatniks were. They're not really a thing anymore. I think they were pseudo hippies, kind of. I don't fully remember. But yeah. Also, yes, I do watch quite a wide variety of stuff. Some of which wouldn't, you know, be the most appropriate if it was released today but the fact that it was done ages ago makes it perfectly fine. Gestures at like 90% of George Carlin's bits. Um, his, his brand of comedy is very much... The comedy of someone who has lost faith in humanity a long time ago. <laughs> So, you know, only watch him if you're okay with that sort of stuff. Because, well, that's all you're gonna get out of him, basically. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I suppose we have an ocean fish to catch today. It's gonna be one of these rocks up here for our money rock. I'm really sad I missed turnips. I was debating setting my clock back like an hour or two so I could get turnips. I was debating that, but that would throw off so much of my ability to record. Like, I would have to then be sure that by, you know, Saturday I'm ready to record. Like, if I set back two hours, well, now I gotta record at 6. I can't record at 8. You know, because 6 would be 8. You know. That's the thing with messing with the time for a series like this, is it's like... Because of changing the time... Making turnips rot, if I haven't sold my turnips, I can't correct the time. You know. Plus, it's life simulation. I miss the time. I do really wish Joan was just in town longer. Like... 
it, it doesn't like, overly make sense to me that she's only here in the mornings. Like, I guess she's here from 6 till noon, so it's a 6 hour gap, but I would much rather her be here from like, 9 till 3. Which is still a 6 hour gap, but it's a much more reasonable one, that, you know, is easier to be awake for. I get most people don't have issue getting up before noon. And, to be fair, I was awake before noon. I was technically awake at 12.30. I could have gotten up, I could have done stuff, but... I, I misheard the, the time. So it is, it is kinda on me. But, it would still be nice if she was just here longer. Let's chase the meteor shower! Ooh, okay. I might come back here later tonight, then. I do like me a good meteor shower, and we have not had many meteor showers. That's one bonus of being on right now, I suppose. Hmm. Where is this final fossil? Where have- oh, it's right here. I was supposed to say, where haven't I been? Right here. Okay, I've already identified those other fossils, but I do have exactly enough space for them. But there was five things, wasn't there? Uh, Crap. I can make this work. I have an idea. I have an, I have an idea I can make this work. Hello, Sky. Oh, Cupcake! Set your be uh, beatnik tank? I almost completely misread that. How'd you score that? So jealous, I've been looking for one for so long. Anyway, uh... This doesn't sound weird, but would you consider selling me? Alright. Here you go. You gonna become a beatnik, I guess? She doesn't want to wear it, she wants this furniture. Of course she wants it as furniture. Why wouldn't she want it as furniture? I really hate how animals can use clothes as furniture. It's so annoying, because it's like, I just want you to have a nice looking house. Is that- oh, there was six things. Well, that works out. I can just put the money there. And then I just need to remember there's 99,000 bells right there. In my hidden storage. But, um... I'm trying to think of things to even ramble about now. I think once I get these fossils identified, I might actually just, like... Do I want to risk... Do I want to risk saying, I'll come back and record later? <laughs> we saw how that worked out last night. Um... You know what? I'm just gonna leave myself a note. Because I am going to be taking my Switch and heading upstairs. I'm just gonna leave myself a note to make sure I record. That way, even when I come back down, I don't have an excuse. There you go, blathery boy. Hey, you better take a closer look. All of them are simply splendid fossils. I do kind of wish I could take my whole computer upstairs, and I... I could. But, I don't overly trust Shadow enough. Like... I could take my computer upstairs and then, you know, play EDF or something, but I don't... I don't overly trust the little man. Um, I just want to see. I'm pretty sure I have all the the masks, but yeah, okay, I already have that one. Yeah, and there's nothing else here I really want, so.
Oh man, Rory and, um, the uh, Rasher talking. I can remember names. Let's get to retail and see just how many bells we have from two days of fossils and a few bamboo shoots. And like, no gemstones. Wait, no, one gemstone. We have one. I wish to sell all of this stuff. Guessing forty-five thousand. Thirty-five. Wow, I was ten thousand off. Did I like miss a fossil? No, I didn't. We just had a very bad day with fossils, I guess. So. And I'm back. I remembered. I literally wrote myself a note. <laughs> so, yeah, that that's how I remembered. It's also how I remembered that Velma wants an ocean fish. So, that's going to be what we'll be doing while we wait for the meteors to start dropping. Pretty sure they can happen anytime after 7, so. We'll just have to, uh... Is that a shadow? That is a shadow. That could be a horse mackerel, though. I refuse to give a villager a horse mackerel. That'd be like handing them a literal piece of garbage. Um, what we got? Ooh. Damn. Thelma seems pretty hip. She, she seems like she'd be down with this dabbing thing. That I know is positively ancient by this point, and... Now would be for old folks like me, even though now my my generation laid really still. That was our thing. <laughs> our thing was planking. Super turkey fish. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What this one's gonna be? Well, we got. I just heard a shooting star. So it's gonna be a lucky fish. Hey, it's a horse mackerel. Hmm. Hmm. Let's wait for a shooting star. I like the moon. The moon looks pretty nice up there. Of course, now that I'm ready for them, they don't want to come out. Wishy is feeling pretty shy tonight. But there, we got one. We got two. We got three. Come on, well, one more. Gotta have four. It's a pretty good number. Wishy, come on. Don't be shy. Come on, Wishy. There's four. <laughs> I I love the shooting stars. I love all the like weathery effects. They're just nice. But uh yeah, I haven't done a huge amount today. I, I've mostly just been still grinding in EDF. Spent some time upstairs with the dog. He has now gone to bed, so. He puts himself to bed, kind of. He gets bribed. He has been bribed enough to go to bed that he puts himself to bed around this time. So. Like, if you take him up for his last run, tell him it's his last run. And then grab, like, three or four treats when you come in. He'll just run straight to his bed. And just patiently wait for the treats. And then the door to be closed. Because he, uh... He sleeps in a kennel because he can't... Okay, he probably could be trusted, but... My mother currently does not trust him. To not, you know, pee on the floor through the night. 
Plus, it would require barricades to keep him from the basement and the upstairs to stay up all the time. So, you know, there, there are reasons he has his bed. Plus, it's a very, very cozy bed. He's got, like, a dog bed, two blankets, a bunch of stuffies. Like, he's he is very comfortable in there. To the point where it, it's almost a reward to go in there. Like, especially where he stores snacks in there. It's just how he be. Okay, I've probably got... Yeah, I've got a nice little variety of ocean fish. Which one would best fit Velma, though? That That's the question at hand. What... What one? Would work best for Velma. We do got Pudge. Hey, cool guy. Have you seen the sky tonight? The stars are so sweet. They're like pieces of rock candy. Wait, do you need something? Let's chat. Heard a rumor about you. Everyone's saying you're kind of a hometown hero. I'm jealous. I wish pe I wish I were popular enough for people to guess gossip about. I mean, you just gotta do stuff, and then people gossip about it. Oh, it's you again. Oh, right. We've already talked with Bella, but we'll talk with her again. I keep hearing people say you're like totally a hometown hero. I'm way jealous you're the center of attention right now. It's supposed to be my job. Well, who's calling me a hometown hero? Lobo, you gotta help me out here, man. This list may dress us a bad habit, but when, when I see a school desk, I gotta buy it. I'm a bit of a shopaholic, I guess. Just can't let a good thing pass me by. There's no point having tons of the same thing. I'm gonna take the same off my hands. Alright, I'll take it. That is a pretty funny thing for him to have a compulsion to buy, given a inside joke that he had as a catchphrase a while back. And the person it's relevant to will know. <laughs> Frisk, what are you doing? I, I do not trust... Okay, thank you. Hello, Velma. I brought you something. Um... I think the zebra turkey fish suits her the best because it's kind of pink and she's pink. Yeah. Zebra turkey fish. I see Dennis. You got me a zebra turkey fish. Now here's a little reward for you. It's furniture. It's a box corner sofa. Neat. Velma is like one of the only villagers we have that still has a bed at this exact moment. She is probably about to not have a bed. I would not be surprised if I immediately went, big in, went back into her house and her bed was gone. Because that's just how our villagers tend to work. Man, lots of shooting stars. Hello, Sky. I think we've already talked with you today. Oh, it's already eight. Time flies and you're having fun. Soup, it's true. What can I do for you? Let's talk. So I'm hungry. I'm afraid my faint. I feel woozy. I need some fruit badly. Can you bring me some, please? I'm not picky. Any kind of fruit. Do? Hi. I can do that. I'm pretty sure I've got three inventory spaces left, so... Yeah, exactly three. Um, let's see. What is a good tree we have access to? Mangoes! They're very messy, but... Mangoes work. I mean, I could have grabbed some perfect cherry, but... You know. She was trying to move out on us. So... You know. I brought it. Mango! moment she's been waiting for. Rich in flavor and texture, just with the right balance of sweetness and juiciness. I don't know if a mango could have that right balance. Mangoes are messy. They are really, really messy. So I don't, I don't know if a mango could have a balance between juiciness and flavor. Um, because they're always going to have more juiciness than flavor. Unless it wasn't ripe. Uh, 
A mango is the type of thing you eat when, uh... You definitely want to get your hands all covered in fruit juice. Like... It's, it's kind of a problem. And I would go see Nook, but he closes at 8. So we've already missed Nook. I should have did that earlier. But that's fine. I think I was like 15, 16 minutes for the first section. We're already at 10 here. So we got a decent length going on for today's episode anyway. So I really want somewhere to sit near here. I might plant a tree. And then chop it down. Like, put a tree, like, right here. A little stump. Just having somewhere to sit right by the flower clock would be pretty nice. Oh, we got a thing at our cat machine! Cat! One cat ticket. One cat ticket to one cat planet coming right up. And all aboard the cat planet. Cat planet. Planet train cat. Cat planet. I don't know what I'm on about. I, I'm i just going to take a nap and that's going to be it for today. I thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. See you all then. And now in the send card, I would like to ask if you liked the video, if you could hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed, if you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be pretty helpful to me. Thanks a bunch.